day on the web. The Chinese Prime Minister Wen Jiabao is a real star on the net. The web reacts to the agreement to ban cluster bombs. And the day's pick of the best. When mania is invading the Chinese web, two weeks after the deadly earthquake in Sichuan, the Chinese Prime Minister Wen Jiabao has become the icon of the Chinese blogosphere. This is illustrated by the increase of profiles on Facebook supporting the head of government since his visit to the towns hit hardest by the catastrophe. Over 2,000 messages of praise have been posted on this support group. In fact, Wen Jiabao has become the darling of Chinese forums. Here, a web user posts very touching photos of him. The success of this clip on the web also proves the growing influence of Wen. The video was recorded by Hong Kong celebrities in response to an appeal from Wen to raise money in order to help the victims. Video clips like this one paying tribute to Wen Jiabao are multiplying on the web. But not everyone shares these feelings. This Chinese man criticizes Wen Jiabao's excessive prudence in accepting aid from America the day after the catastrophe. After much negotiation during a conference in Dublin, around 100 countries are in agreement on a project to ban the use of cluster bombs. The blogosphere reacts. This American blogger says that several countries which make this type of bomb, like the United States, have not signed the treaty. He attacks his government for doing nothing to ban these weapons, whose victims are often children. Many organizations like Handicap International have been campaigning for a long time against the use of these cluster bomb explosives. Web users are invited to sign a petition against these weapons on the organization's website. And online campaigns like this one to mobilize the public and raise their awareness are multiplying online. Finally, the European Union is broadcasting this report on exchange sites of the Swiss bomb disposal experts in South Lebanon and the risks incurred by those who live there. The group Nine Inch Nails is back in the spotlight. After having tested several ways of web distribution and launched a call for piracy, the group has unveiled its latest album called The Slip. It has 10 tracks entirely free, available in several formats. Fans can even do their own remixes. If you fancy a walk down the streets of San Francisco, Everyscape.com will take you there. This site offers virtual walks in the world's biggest towns as if you were actually there and with 360 degree views. From the Great Wall of China to Times Square, it's just one click away.